Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website at footstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, I am doing the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading for this week. Okay, Divine Masculine. Dang, you guys, the Divine Masculine's got this card the other day. Exact card. All right, so Divine Masculines are still going through the Heart Awakening. Lady Nada, it says, Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. All right, and then for the Divine Feminine, oh, there it is. Okay, too many cards for the Divine Feminine Spirit, so let's just get one. There it is, one. Wow, St. Germain, karma releasing. And between the two of you guys is faith. Humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Okay? And so on the feminine side, St. Germain, karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path and make good room for good energy. Okay? So, wow. Uh, masculines are on the feminine's mind and the feminines are on the masculine's mind. I love this energy. And the two of you guys, um, just having faith that whatever is meant to be and whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. Faith is the archangel who is focused on bringing out our benevolence. She is the twin flame of Archangel Michael and is on a divine mission to help us recognize that humans are basically good and aligned with love. Just like her name, she is all about faith and trust. She reminds us that the world has taught us to believe that we are separate from love and that if we begin to see the good in others, then we will start to cultivate a loving experience of the world around us. So I feel like, you know, again, it goes back to what I just said about, you know, knowing that you're exactly where you're supposed to be at all times. So with Lady Nada, she talks about... Um, she is, uh, Lady Nada is said to be another incarnation of Mar Mary Magdalene, but even if she is, the energies are slightly different. Lady Nada is a mighty spiritual priestess of love who once existed in the land of Atlantis. She is the light force that helps us awaken our hearts to the divine love we deserve. The light keeper whose essence allows the light within our heart to expand revealing a true, real, naked, and vulnerable aspect of our soul. She brings an opportunity to experience divine love, whether through a relationship, adventure, or an experience. So it's talking about his cave, the cave of his heart is opening wide for him to experience divine love. Um, he has an opportunity to overcome past pain, heartbreak, and letdowns, but he's going to have to allow that to happen. So the fact that it, you got this last week for the Divine Masculines, it just, just goes to show that they're still working on that at this time. Um, and that's where their focus is, is on trying to heal whatever it is and then also relying on one's faith to help get you through. I feel like this masculine is extremely uh, spiritual and doing their spiritual duty as well. Um, Saint Germain. Let's go find out. Saint Germain. Um, where are you? There he is. Okay. So St. Germain was born in France in the 18th century and is said to have been given a new identity because he was the love child of two very powerful people. He was well educated and able to rub shoulders with royalty. He was also deeply interested in magic, alchemy, and the cosmos and able to perform real life miracles and turn lead into gold. Now he helps us move beyond social limitations to connect with the right people for the highest good. He's still a master alchemist and able to help us turn whatever is le leading in our life into something that is golden. His twin flame is Lady Portia and he is the keeper of the violent flame, the powerful etheric retreat where we can release karma. Karma is the spiritual law of cause and effect. We experience many different levels of karma. Some we inherit from our family and some from the people we keep helping out of the problems they keep creating. Saint Germain is here now to clear your energy so that you are no longer half the weight of the world or your loved one's world 
on your shoulders. Be aware that an old pattern is leaving your life and creating space for something more loving to enter. Visualize yourself surrounded by a fiery violet cloak to release all the karma that you no longer need. So if it's like, you know, you're always trying to be there for your family and you're always trying to be the rock feminines, uh, you know, it's not your job anymore. You know, it's, it's their job to pick up the pieces for their own life and you need to allow them to experience the karma that they came in here to learn. When you take on everybody else's karma, you don't free up your own energy in order for you to be able to experience the things that the universe wants you to experience, like love, you know, because you're so busy. It's great that you love your family and it's wonderful that you want to be there for them. Um, but it's another thing to learn how to take back that energy and use it for yourself as well, right? That's part of the ascension process. So spirit, please show me the divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, did that one just flip? It did. Recognition, there it is, solitude. All right, I think that one came out on its own though, but we did see solitude. So recognition, spirit, please show me the divine masculine. There, it wanted to come out anyway, so it wanted to come out with mask. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's like this person recognizes They're recognizing you. They're recognizing what the two of you had. And they're recognizing that the whole time they were wearing a mask. But it's because of the solitude that they're in right now that they are able to see it for what it is. Yeah, it's caused them a lot of grief. You know, they're overcoming. And that's, on again, on the masculine side. They recognize that, you know they needed to go through what they're going through and you on the other hand you needed to have patience for the feminine side the solitude and the patience card it's like you, there are things that you needed to do and again that has to do with releasing yourself from family karma you know constantly trying to fix your family you know it's time for you to go out and experience you know love in your life and you couldn't be able to do that if you were constantly always worrying about you know if your kids are old enough let your kids go out and make their own mistakes and learn their own lessons you know because right now the center of the reading is mask and awakening it's like awakening to what it is that we have been hiding behind you know and again, some, some for some of you, it's like not even having faith, you know, in, in, in love, you know. But I feel like through this, the masculines are being guided towards their lessons, okay? And then one more for the feminine spirit. Okay, there it is. Ha action, okay? So you're having to, ha to ha have patience with everything right now. And look, it came up in reverse and you guys, all my cards are in the upright. So this did show up in reverse and that is not a coincidence and it says the answer is no. Uh, that would mean that the answer is yes, okay? So whatever has been all dried up is getting ready to flourish again and look, you know, you see the water here in the center of the reading. It's about the awakening process for the both of you. You know, you both needed to awaken to the lessons that the universe was trying to teach the both of you the masculines is healing over the past and whatever disappointments that the masculines have been through and for the feminines this is all about you know learning patience before you take action you know I see so many feminines who you know they're so afraid of a masculine not being here and I'm just going to call it for what it is and they jump right into bed with these people you know with this masculine and I don't care if it's a same sex relationship or whatever and I feel like you know um, and I see that one the reason why that one's coming up is because spirit is making me point that out but you know because of fear of this person not being here because you're afraid that if they don't talk to you for a day or you know that you can almost you know it's almost like this manipulation through sexual activity you know well if I if I'm you know then they're gonna want it want me because they're gonna crave me and it's like you know I'm a Venus and Virgo you know and maybe in my past days and whatnot you know I had my wild moments and stuff you know uh, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm a Virgo, so I'm all about purity and, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's like, it's, it took me a long time because Venus and Virgo, um, it, my Saturn is my saving grace, uh, can also be, you know, uh, exotic dancer or a prostitute or, you know, somebody who sells their body because Virgos are very beautiful women. Uh, typically, you know, not all of them, they can be ugly on the inside. You know, I can't speak for all Virgos, but what I can say, you know, is, um, you know, 
Venus and Virgo can make you do like, you know, basically give yourself up for, you know, trying to keep people there. You know, it's usually daddy issues and things like that. And I'm giving you a little bit of a, um, uh, astrology lesson here, but you know, go back and look at your chart. And so for a lot of you guys, and you don't even have to have Venus and Virgo. I mean, it, you can have any kind of sixth house activity and that can cause that air energy for you. So you want to be really mindful ladies and gentlemen that you're not, you know, going back to the way things used to be. And I think that that is something that you needed to learn on your side, feminines and the masculines, you know, why were they that way? You know, because they couldn't settle down and they couldn't commit. Um, you know, so they're having to find their inner guide, you know, at this time. And I feel like, you know, they haven't wanted to hear anything. They haven't been opening, open to even listening to anything. You know, the answer was no right off, you know, because there's a reason why this is here. And it probably had something to do with this karmic partner. Okay, there was somebody else in the mix for some of you. And for some of you, it doesn't have to be another romantic partner or somebody that they were sleeping with. But this could have something to do with somebody, um, you know, their work or their, again, their children or whatever, you know. So I just feel like, you know, not jumping into bed just to keep a person there is one of the things that you guys are needing to learn on the feminine side and on the masculine side. They need to get over whatever grief uh, that has caused. And I don't want to say, I don't want to say it like that, where they need to get over it because it's not like that it's more of like they need to um you know talk to a counselor you know talk to uh, a trusted you know somebody who's not biased to their circumstances you know and being able to be open to receiving you know advice from someone other than you know uh is going to be much bigger i will tell you you know i feel like the both of you guys have been wearing this false sense of security you know when it comes to relationships um you know and depending on what it is for the both of you you know like i said i feel like it's you know it, of course it's sexual on both sides because who are you having sex with you know the masculine obviously so you know don't think for two seconds that you know i'm bagging just on the feminines uh because you know but the masculines i'm sorry ladies but if you're willing to give it they're willing to take it you know unless they're a gentleman which there are gentlemen out there. There are very few and far between, but there are gentlemen out there and there are more and more waking up at this time that are going through these lessons as well. And the both of you guys are going through these lessons, not just one or the other, the both of you, okay? Because this is how I'm seeing it straight down the center. You got mask awakening and lessons. So something here for some of you, you could definitely be reading self-help books. You could be listening to self-help books. You know, for those of you, I don't like to read personally. I listen, I like to um, hear what people say. I like to hear the emotion behind it. So I just feel like, you know, ladies, your hands have been tied and because the masculines haven't wanted to hear anything. Um, let's go ahead and pull some advice on this reading. Spirit, please show me some advice for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Yeah, there it is, guys. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So the advice is for the masculines, it's time to reconcile. It's time to, I feel like this, you know, this masculine is being guided. I feel like there's that lantern here and, you know, it's, that's the last lesson that needs to be learned is how to take action on this. I do feel like there is action going to be taken. Um, spirit, whoa. All right. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And one more for the masculine. Spirit, please show me one more for the masculine. There it is. Two more for the masculine. New love and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yeah, be careful of somebody who is wanting to, uh, you know, reconcile from the past, you know, on the masculine side. Maybe an ex is wanting to come in. Um, be it, it is going into Mercury and retrograde, you guys. So keep that in the back of your mind. A lot of the time, whenever Mercury and retrograde comes in you know people from the past they come in they try to confuse you again mercury becomes the trickster so um you know i just feel like there hopefully you know there's there's someone here that they a new love and then there's someone here that is an old love and it's like they're gonna have to make a decision 
Okay, so uh, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe right now what they're trying to do is, yeah, and underneath that is wedding. So again, I feel like maybe it's somebody that they have already been in a relationship with or already had a commitment with. Uh, something here about commitments and things like that. Because if, again, with finances and career, that's also a commitment. You know, it's not like we can pay our bills if we're sitting at home, you know, pining over some, you know, our love life and stuff. You don't make money that way, right? So... I think that the masculines have been really working, uh, you know, just trying to keep their nose to the grindstone. But I do feel like when they are alone at night, uh, they are, I feel like they're looking at the black and white, okay? You know, the pros, the cons, and they're really weighing up, you know, where it is that they want to, um, where they want to go, especially with the lantern here. Um... I feel like the moon has a lot to do with it. I feel like the both of you guys are definitely manifesting each other. I will say just be careful, masculines, not to get caught up in the Mercury retrograde uh, with the past coming back, you know. You know, it's not always a bad thing when the past comes back. But if it's an ex, chances are, again, you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> do your research. All right, Spirit, please show me the feminines. There it is. Feminines are freeing themselves. Um, but it did show up in reverse. So again, uh, it's time for you to take back control of your life, but it did show up in reverse feminine. So let's find out. Okay. Feminines, karma releasing. Yeah. Uh, this has to do with children. So it goes back to what I was saying earlier when I was talking about healing family issues and letting your children, um, you know, take the responsibility for themselves instead of you taking on the responsibility, especially if you have adult children, uh, and freeing yourself from that karma and realizing that you know your love life does benefit as you forgive your parents so if you're coming into this and you're going to hear me say it a million times and you're still holding on to issues with your parents um you know you're going to have issues in your romantic relationships it just is you know you guys can avoid it all you want but there's always going to be that void there you know and it is safe for you to love, you know, but another thing too, I feel like maybe for some of you, um, you've known this person since childhood. You could definitely know this person since childhood and this person is wanting to uh, reconcile with you. Um, for maybe for some of you, finances and career here, you worked with this person as well. Uh, you guys could have worked side by side. Um, but, you know, you guys were brought into each other's lives for a reason. And I feel like, you know, just keep the faith or you guys will be being brought into each other's lives. Because when I talk about reconciliation, this could also be a person from a past life. OK, um, and it's just you guys needed to learn the lesson through many lifetimes. You haven't gotten it right. And it's time that you guys get it right in this. You're being gifted the opportunity to get it right this time. But, you know, in order to do so, someone here has got to take action. Pay attention to the birds feminines i just see you in a place of solitude waiting not really so much waiting but you're just kind of like hmm, if there's nothing i can do it's like whatever you know i just feel like some of these masculines are walking away from a karmic partner uh, i do see that on their side you know and they're starting to recognize that this person brings them a lot more grief than what they wanted and i feel like um, they realized that all along they were being guided towards you so, I, I mean, that's a beautiful space to be in, you guys, you know, and, but, you know, I, I'm not going to lie for some of you, you're going to be having a reconciliation soon for others of you. Not so much. It might be after the Mercury retrograde. We're all on different timelines. So, you know, time is fluid. Uh, I can feel you pulling away. Have you moved on? Okay. So, and look, the feminines are over here all by themselves, like just doing their own thing. You know, it's, they're just soaring at this time. You know, they're working on patience. They're working on abandonment issues, you know, working on learning their lessons. You know, I feel like the masculines have a lot heavier of energy. So, uh, Spirit, please show me. Oh, wow. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lose you. Okay. So, they feel in their heart, you know, and I think that they said no in the past. <gasps> Excuse me. All of a sudden, I'm getting the hiccups. Spirit, please show me their love life for the divine masculine, divine feminine. Yeah, now is not the right time. Look at everything that's going on around us. You know, um, here's two more. 
I'm not good at communicating my feelings with you. That's why we have a Mercury in retrograde is so people can come back, come back and, you know, explain what they were feeling, you know. Um, I feel so very, I feel so much regret for everything I've said and done. And one more card, Spirit. Oh, shit. Okay, that's way too many. But at the bottom of the deck, it says, I want to be with you. All right. So let's go ahead and pull one more card, Spirit, for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. There it is. All right, I got three more cards that are literally wanting to push out these messages. I'm thinking about making you an offer, and there is the reconciliation here, okay? All I want to do is talk to you. Yeah, there's been no communication between the two of you, but this person's afraid of change, you know? Everybody's afraid of change. I mean, you can be afraid of change. That's great, uh, but don't let the fear hold you back. And one more, everything I do, I do for our future. So you just kind of have to trust, you know? I've never felt like this before. You're just going to have to trust that whatever is meant for you will never pass you by anyway you guys thank you very much for being here i love you all uh please like share and subscribe and if you're interested in a personal reading you know where to find me and we will chat again tomorrow